Welcome to Podcast 82. Brian, what shirt are you wearing? I'm wearing the new Makeshift Project merch, baby. You want to see the back? Is, you want to see the back? Oh, we want to see the back. Let's see it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. You might be hiding it a little bit, but Boom. it looks good. Guys, we got new merch. Boom. 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 The triple boom. Yeah, we got new merch. We got new merch. We got hats. We got shirts. We got all the cool stuff. Every single order comes with a free sticker. Yes. And we have received a bunch of happy customers. Shout out to you guys. A lot of happy customers. And um, yeah, we're packaging and doing everything ourselves over here. So we're excited. Um, go check it out. Link will be in the description if you are watching. And if you're listening, um, just go to one of our social media accounts and go to the bio. Or our website, themakeshiftproject.com. Yes, yeah, so you can go to our website too. Anything that you like. That was our little shameless plug in the beginning. Shameless plug. Of oh, podcast I'm just so embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to do that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not at all. I'm not at Listen, all. We're proud of the merch. Okay. I'm going to start us off hot here. Okay. I feel good. It's not that steamy, but like moderately steamy. Let's hear it. Which celebrity scored higher on their SATs? Ooh. So so we did IQ in the past. I was like, let's let's dive into the people's SAT scores. Interesting. Now all the SATs are scored totally different now. They are. I but don't understand it, these, but this is ours. These scales are out of 1600. I don't think they have a writing section anymore. Okay, whatever. This is what we got. All 1600. right. Bill Clinton or Scarlett Johansson? This is ba- it's basically who's smarter. Uh, I guess so. Who's if you want. more school smart? School smart. This is by the book. School smart. I would think it would be Bill Clinton, but I feel like you're trying to trick me. I don't know. What am I trying I'm gonna to I'm going to not go with any trickage. I'm just going to go by the book because this is school smart. I'm going Bill Clinton is more school smart. Better SAT. The former president of the United States did not score a higher score than Scarlett Johansson. Mm. Bill Clinton, 1030 out of 1600. Scarlett Johansson, 1080. Wow. Hey, good for Scarlett. And these are actual stats. Now. These are uh, based off some credible sources. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. They're, they're close. They're, this is mainly based off of um, people have heard things or, oh, they're, okay. self, so, or they're self-proclaimed. Um, all right. And they told them out there. So Whatever. We're yeah, just going to go with it. I'm trying over here. I'm We're trying. with it. Will Smith or Alex Rodriguez? Now, I would think that A-Rod should. Actually, I have no idea. He's a, he is a businessman. He's pretty good in business, business but is he calling all the shots? I don't know. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Can a guy who can hit a home run, does he deserve to score well on his SAT? Athletes in general are not known to be smart people in high school and middle school and everything. So I'm going to go with Will Smith had a higher SAT score. Will Smith was perfect on his SATs. 1,600. Alex Rodriguez, 910. Will Smith. Kind of a dummy. I think ours were scored out of 2,400. Yeah, ours were 2,400. So I, I won't say anything too poorly about A Rod. I won't. Yeah. Kesha or Kobe Bryant? I mean, I'm going to now I'm going to change my whole thing because why would you put Kesha with Kobe Bryant? I don't know. Maybe I'm trying to fool you. Kobe seems like a very intelligent person. Kesha, I have no idea. She woke up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Yeah. Now oh, she hates that's P. Not, Diddy. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> not okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to say Kesha was a lower score. Kobe had the higher score. Kesha's the higher score. She got a 1,500 on her SAT. Kobe Bryant, a 1080. My theory is that the athletes didn't have to try as hard in school because they were gifted athletically and were able to kind of get by. That makes sense. I wouldn't try that hard in school either. Now, IQ, I'm going to go with Kobe. 100%. But but SAT score, by the book, the test. I totally agree. Busy practicing basketball. I totally agree. Um, Some announcements that we have. Oh, we have a big collab coming up next week. Oh, yeah. Uh, should we tell them? I think we dropped a hint already. We did. So if you, if you know the hint or you saw the hint, we'll, we'll go from there. You know what someone mentioned to us and I was really excited about? And I was, I'm going to put it in the next podcast, I think. Okay. I want users. Users. What am I? What, <laughs> what am I saying? We have a Facebook I want, app. <laughs> I want our viewers to submit a secret phrase. And we alternate podcast. I love And that. at the end of the podcast, we have to guess which one the other one snuck in. Let's do it. So All right, I'm, cool. Let's do it then. You want to do it right yeah, now? Yeah. So let's have the users drop the phrase. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're watching the live stream or watching the podcast, throw it in the comment section. Throw in your best phrase or funniest phrase that you want us to put in the next podcast. You'll look at it next Okay, week. I'll look. I won't look at the podcast comments next week at all. The phrase with the highest amount of likes and comments, that's what you use. Okay, that's what I'm going to use. Let's do it. And eventually what I want to do is put this on, like, I want to have, like, members either on Patreon or have it submitted through our Discord, which we also have live. Um, 
So there's there's a lot of things that we could do here I in terms of idea. submitting and having people enter. Um, but it was a great idea that was DM to us. And uh, thank you. I don't know the username. Okay. But if you're listening, you know who you are. That's like the sports ones where they had to do it in the interviews. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I think it's something that we could routinely do in the podcast. It'll be fun. Um, I just got back from vacation. You did. You look so tan. Turks and Caicos. You That's actually, not what you said before. No, you actually look the exact same color you left. I'm definitely not. Did you wear a lot of sunscreen? I The first two days, I lathered up. Oh, yeah. Then the rest, I was normal about it because if I get burnt, then I'll be beat red. And I'm not that red. I got burnt in um, Belmar. I went to Belmar Wednesday, Thursday, Believe Friday it. last summer, week. Summer, I got burnt. Yeah, but it's summer. I'm so stupid because I didn't put on sunscreen on my back. Yeah. Because I was somebody. like, oh, my back doesn't burn. The back that burns the most. It's the biggest part of it. Well, at the shoulders I got, but the, oh my God. And around the waistline. You got You ever get burnt sunscreen. around your waistline? Yes. It gets itchy. Last week. Oh, I went in the water though. Very cold. Yeah. Very warm in Turks and Caicos. Shout out Club Med. Shout um, out Club Med. But yeah, the vacation was great. Talking about summer. Let's hear it. What U.S. state has the best summer? Oh, what state? Yeah. Now I saw a video about this and it's a guy from New Jersey that lives in Miami now. I'll tell you what he said after you guess. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, do you don't even have to guess. You can just tell me because there's no stats behind it. Well, I'm going to say New Jersey. I think he, I agree. He, he arguably is going to say New Jersey. You got the Jersey shore. You got a lot of golf courses. Oh yeah. And listen, we're big golfers. Yeah. So there's a lot of golf courses around here and you could really do anything. You could hop to a city. You could go down by the shore. We got some of the most iconic bars. Rooftop DJs, bars. Bar A. Johnny Max. Johnny Max. Porta. Porta. Jenks. Jenks. Donovan's. <laughs> um, there's a lot of great shore bars that I feel like other places in the country don't have. And a lot of them aren't open any other time besides the summer and it makes it that much more exciting to go. You know what they need to do is cool it off with the cash only. Just yeah, a little cool crazy. Off. And then it's like $10 surcharge at the ATM. Oh, yeah. It's like the casino. They just, they just want you to... Oh, yeah. It's exactly like, like the casino. 100%. So the guy, the kid from Miami, it's probably around our age, maybe a little younger, maybe a little older. Um, he lives in Miami year round. He posted a video. He said that Memorial Day weekend, nobody does it like New Jersey. He said it's Memorial Day weekend right now in Miami. Happy Memorial Day, by the way. It's Memorial Day today. When As we're, we're filming and so recording this, yeah. Thursday will be four days past or whatever. He said it's Memorial Day weekend right now in Miami. Nothing's going on. Nothing's happening. They're not patriotic down there. They no, don't no, understand. No, 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 no. It's not because of that. <laughs> no. we, realistically, Memorial Day is celebrating the ones who've passed that were in the service. Nobody celebrates it that way. They just use that's it as what a I'm party. Doing. Then when I go out and, I, and I'm at the bars at the Jersey Shore, that's what I'm doing. Uh, me too. I'm drinking for my brothers. Uh, brothers? <laughs> Brother? <laughs> So he said that they use it just as another day off. They're on boats. They're on yachts all year round. They're at the beach all year round. New Jersey has all four seasons. We never get the beach. So he said people let loose and go crazy all summer long, which makes it that much better of a place to be and party and go to the beach and spend time with people. Well, what it is, it's it's if you have something. Yeah. Like the winter that comes by. Take it for granted. Yeah, you totally take it for granted. And then you're able to appreciate the summer more exactly and that's what new jersey's like once memorial day weekend hits everybody goes out they go crazy for like three months then labor day hits half the state shuts down yeah they're done going out yeah the other half continue they say you know what i'm gonna carry this because summer's not over it's not i'm over. not letting it die local summer local summer that's the best part of summer it is but it's also the saddest because that means it's like gone yeah but everybody after labor day just shuts down i never understand it i don't either i think summer goes to october yeah and it's not even like peak warmness yet. Um, June, July are just going to be fantastic months. So yeah, New Jersey. That was my answer. That was your. I mean, I feel like it has to be. What are you going to say, California? There's probably a good like Massachusetts summer. Well, it can't be anywhere warm. No, it has to be somewhere cold because Massachusetts. What they don't have beaches. I think they do have beaches. Well, they don't have good. Oh yeah, isn't I think there? They Cape, have really Cape nice Cod? beaches. Isn't yeah. Cape Cod there? Yeah. yeah, but they don't have the amount of beaches that we have. There's a lot of options. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to defend my home state. No, it, it has to be somewhere in the Northeast, I think. I think Northeast states have the summer. I love it. Let's let's stay on topic then. Why not? Let's stay with the states. Also, why don't other states have like boardwalks with boardwalk games? Boor oh, I went into an arcade last week. Where? At Point Pleasant? At Point Pleasant. I went to two arcades. I love arcades. I'm strategizing for whenever we do that. I already video. have my strategy. Oh, do you? Yeah, I have my two games Ooh. that I am a lead at. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's stay on topic though. Let's stay on topic. Okay. I want to, I wanna, I'll, I'll keep it in the states. I'll do it. So don't make on topic, but do off you want topic. me to do it off topic, but on top. I'll do it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best state to live in in 2024? This is not opinion based. This is via pods.com. This is the places where people are moving to. 
So I think a lot of people are moving out of California. Okay. And maybe even out of like New York. Yeah, I think uh, that it makes sense. These after COVID, the major cities said, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm going yeah, somewhere else. There's cheaper places. There's better weather. There's all these better places. I think a lot of people from California moved to Texas. So I'm going to say Texas. Texas is incorrect. That's not it. Which I like the theory though, but I feel like Texas is like too big of a state. I would classify this state as like a hidden gem. Yeah, South Carolina. That is one of them. Is this one state that we're doing? Technically not. So what is it? The, the top three? It's No, it's the Carolinas. It's both Carolinas. Makes sense. There's a low cost of living, good quality of life, access to nature, thriving food scene, and vibrant metro area. And? And? Golf. And golf. <laughs> Thank you for throwing that in there. And golf. I think Love is Blind was recorded there. Isn't that where they were all from? Interesting. I have no Jess, idea. I Jimmy? Didn't watch you didn't watch it? <laughs> no. Jess, Jimmy, you're not, uh, you're not in? I don't watch do you not? Do you know about that? No. Okay, I'll tell you in a second. Before I get to that, um, 40% of the cities with the highest move-ins in America, so places people are moving to, are in the Carolinas. So four out of the top 10 Outer are in Banks, the Carolinas. Myrtle Beach. People love it. I know. You don't know about this whole love is blind thing? No. Okay, so it's a little bit older, but I'm going to bring it up to you anyway. Okay. I'm just going to tell you quick. Okay. <laughs> Basically, this guy, like Love is Blind is two people in pods. You don't see each other. Yes, and I, then know, you I know the theory. The I know the theory. So this one guy was talking to like two girls, and one of the girls who was objectively less attractive okay. um, said that like she gets a lot of comparisons to Megan Fox. <laughs> So this guy, Jimmy, is in the pods. He's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, I feel like, like I'm, I'm torn between these girls. Who am I going to go with? And he goes with the Megan Fox girl. The other girl, Jess, very attractive woman. I feel like I've heard about if this. If you saw her, you'd be like, and compared the two, you'd be like, that girl is objectively more attractive. Is this the one where you have to get married on the spot? Yeah, you get married on the spot after the pods, and then they go through the engagement thing, and then they have the altar at the end. And they and say they yes or no. Yep. They say I do, and, and then they like, say yes. I or no. Don't ruin it. Uh, that one, I'm not gonna. That one it. didn't work out. Yeah, that I one figured, didn't. And now Jimmy's going through this like whole like uh, bachelor life. Like everybody I've, wants to be with Jimmy. Jimmy. No. Yeah. But but the other girl that said Megan Fox, um, she was a little annoying in the show. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, they're friends now, Jimmy and uh, and that girl, so. Jimmy and Megan Fox. There's a lot we could break down into we reality TV for a while, but that. that's not our demographic, so we won't do it. <laughs> um. All right, talking about summer, and I just came back from vacation. Yeah, we made friends with a lot of the workers because at Club Med, you talk to the workers and they like eat, eat with you, drink with you, hang out. I met this guy, Julio, and he was the bartender. <laughs> Just Great sound, guy. That's exactly what you would expect the bartender's name to be. Yeah, I met this guy, Julio. He was he was awesome. Was he down by the schoolyard? No. For the dads out there. I was ordering dirty Shirley's all week. Oh, were you? Why are Shirley Temples considered a kid's drink? They should be adult drinks. They, I don't understand the judgment towards them. <laughs> I don't think it's a judgment thing. I th Everyone judges you. Well, it's because I don't think anybody's judging because it's a Shirley Temple. I think people are judging because it's it's like a bar mitzvah drink, sure. Exactly. But it's like a fruity drink. Like, yes, they're fantastic, no, but, but, but even, like a guy getting a Shirley Temple is the same as a guy getting a pina colada. No, I think it's totally different. You think it's different? I think it's totally different. I think that pina coladas are accepted. I think that frozen drinks, if you're at a beach in Turks and Caicos, they're accepted. But Shirley Temples, for some reason, are not accepted. Uh, but I think it's just a, it's we grew up getting them at bar and bat mitzvahs. Exactly. Sweet 16s, maybe half of us dropped off, but some of us stayed steady and we got I them. still get it. <laughs> I was on vacation. I ordered a dirty Shirley every day at like 5 p.m. with my sister and my mom. And we would just drink it in the pool. Sometimes I've had two. Sometimes I've had three. <laughs> and then I would fall off because it's it's too much sugar. Then I would just drink a vodka drink What or What is in a dirty Shirley? It's Sprite or ginger ale, your preference. And then... Obviously, ice and grenadine. Okay. And vodka. And I was going to ask the liquor. Vodka. Yeah, I mean, it sounds delicious. It's and it's best. probably great. Yeah, the grenadine. Drink of the sugar. summer. Drink of the summer? <laughs> you're, you're claiming yeah, it? Yeah, stop judgment. No judgment on Dirty Shirley's. Can we make them ourselves then? I yes. feel like we can. Yes. I feel like I prefer the it's homemade. Two, it's three ingredients. Yeah, it's nice and easy. And what then if you we could made do the... a giant jar and we, we it was like a punch right, bowl? I'm but doing it. it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it for Nashville. For Nashville? For our hotel You want to make dirty Shirley's <laughs> in the hotel after we, after we finish working, before we go out, we'll have a big jar of dirty Shirley juice. <laughs> and we'll <laughs> oh, we pre -game. That would be <laughs> unbelievable. But now, no, no. The dirty Shirley is now the drink of the summer, at least for me. You heard it here first. I didn't order a single mudslide. Oh, well, I should've. that's fine. The mudslides are a little... They're too much. It's a lot of dairy. Um, just speaking, because we mentioned it, um, some other stuff that is going on. NASCAR this month. Yes, we're going to Nashville to film with NASCAR. 
doing a podcast with the drivers, interviewing the drivers. I don't think you realize, but that's in Nashville. And then the weekend, not the next weekend, but the following weekend is Nashville and the Poconos. Oh, we have two. Oh, NASCAR. my God. Nashville and the Poconos. Listen to me. NASCAR and the Poconos. NASCAR and the Poconos. Similar sounding words. Yes. I messed up. Yes. That'll be fun. It will be fun. And then before that, hopefully going to Wells Fargo and PGA. In the middle? That uh, before, oh, NASCAR, before NASCAR, the week before. Wow, I got a lot. We're just throwing away these summer weekends. Well, we are, but, but they're I feel gonna like be fun. they're... This is like, this is the stuff we dreamed of. No, it's going to be sick. Going to sporting events, being able to do what we love down here at these events um, is something that I'm really excited about. Yeah, and meet some cool people, uh, cool interviews and everything. And get some cool experiences. It's it's exciting. And while we're here, just, uh, what is this brand? Oh, yeah. TLF. TLF sent us. Take life further. Is that what it is? They sent us a bunch of free stuff and we didn't mention it. it on the podcast, but I'm wearing the shorts right now. I wore the shorts and shirts all vacation. Oh, yeah? It was amazing. They're super comfortable. They're my new travel shorts. Yeah? I want to get to the gym, first of all. Yeah. I want to get back to the gym. I'm and going I'm going to wear this stuff. Are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Am I up? I don't even know where yeah, we're at. Listen, we have no structure here, but this is, this is what the podcast is about. What's the best food on each continent? This is via upscalelivingmag.com. Oh, this is stats. The long sorts. Well, I'm going to have you guess... And then I'll tell you what they stated. Okay. So what's the best food in Europe? Europe, I feel like pizza. I you feel think like Italy pizza. carries, no? Italy carries. You think Italy carries? We're talking specific food? Yeah. But out of all the country, I mean, you got Spain, you got, you got I think Greek Italy, food, you got a lot of food. I think it's pizza. That's my guess. You're just, you're just saying it. That's my guess. All right. Well, you're wrong. Okay. This said the wiener schnitzel. <laughs> if you have to try food in Europe, you have to make sure to try. You get pizza everywhere. Yeah, but you don't get pizza from Italy. I feel like it might be a little overrated. I've had it. Oh, yeah? It's very good. Yeah, but have you had a same quality slice here? Yeah, somewhere? But it, yes, but it's different. It's like the tomatoes. Yeah. It's like more fresh. Oh, it's more fresh? Okay. Well, Wiener Schnitzel next time. Have you had a Wiener from Schnitzel? From Germany? Yeah. I think I have actually. You have? In well, Germany. I feel like you would remember. Yeah. I, you was, I was young. I was young. I was <laughs> okay, young. okay. What's the best food in Asia? I would assume sushi from Japan. Now, a lot of people would think sushi, but it's not sushi. It's not what they said here. It's not. Is it? Is it curry? It's not curry. No. You went India. I like I it, India. but incorrect. Is it Chinese? Is it Chinese food? It's not Chinese. Thai. It's not Thai. I have no idea. Now we're now we're bouncing around. Why don't you go to the the one that's split into two? The Korean. Oh, Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue beef is the best food. Still never had it. Still never had it? Never oh, had Brian, it. we got to go. I know. It's so good. Let's go to Nashville. No, That's not, not where I want to go. Let's go okay. to New York. Korean let's barbecue. New York. <laughs> okay. What about North America? I would assume like a cheeseburger or like barbecue food. Well, which one oh, do you want to go barbecue with? Barbecue food. You're going barbecue food? Yeah. Feud? Barbecue food. Yeah? It's either bar... Is it right? It's right. You should have stuck with your gut. Oh, it's it's the American burger. You come here, you got to have a burger. I had a burger on the way down here. I had too many burgers. Too many burgers. Without the bun because I'm trying to cut. That's crazy. Well, I just didn't even have It's like ground beef. South America. <sighs> South America, it has to be like Brazilian. Like Brazilian. Okay, so get, I would think it's Brazilian, but it's the same food that you're thinking of, but in a different country. It's from Spain? No. Oh, it's Argentinian? Spain. Argentinian? <laughs> We're in South America. Brazilian. What is Brazilian's... The Brazilian food. Think about like when we go out, when we went to the celebratory dinner for 100K followers or 500K, oh, whatever we're at. Oh, it's uh, Rodigio. Rodigio is Brazilian steakhouse, right? Yeah. Those same things. It's steak, but it's Argentinian steak. Argentinian. Argentin- Argentinian. You're trying to say it with an accent <laughs> I'm now? I'm trying to say everything with an accent. I'm trying to sound smart. Um, yeah, Argentinian steak. That's I've never had it. feel like I got to try it now. If we ever go. We'll try it. What about Australia? I got told I look Argentinian <laughs> on vacation <laughs> from a girl that is from Argentina. That's insane. I straight up said to her in her face, I said, that's crazy. Yeah. Did she understand you? Did she speak yeah, English? She spoke <laughs> English. I didn't know. I didn't All right, know. Go on. What were you saying? Um, Australia. Australia. Vegemite. Vegemite? You think the best no. food in on that continent? No. No. Kangaroo. Not kangaroo. People eat kangaroo? Yes. That's crazy. I think they do. It's, it's like, like the deer equivalent. here. Uh, yeah, actually, exactly what I was going to say. Incorrect. Um, it's lamb chop and bush tomato curry. That sounds Have you ever wild. had a lamb chop from Australia? No, I have. No? <laughs> well, maybe you should try it sometime. What about Africa? Africa has to be something with beef, I'm assuming. Not beef. It's a different form of meat. Chicken? Chicken. Just grilled chicken. And So it's African chicken and... I'm not too versed. African chicken. And chicken what a lot of people allergic to? Seafood. And? Bro- uh crabs 
<laughs> no idea what you're doing. <laughs> African chicken and peanut stew. That's Africa. That was right? not on the I didn't radar. know any food from Africa, so I would have no idea. Um, I do have one more for you. All right. Because there's seven continents. Yeah. Antarctica? Antarctica. Penguin. Not penguin. No. What else is there? Well, Polar bear? I don't. There's no people there. <laughs> Icicles? Apparently there's ice people. Pops. If people go down there and they're trying to survive. I, fish. Ice pops? No, not fish either. Um, it's called pemmican. It's definitely penguin. You think so? Um, P-E-M-M-I-C-A-N. It's ground and dried meat and it contains a lot of fat. So you eat the fat to keep yourself Sounds warm. Like it's like penguin. you layer up. It's uh, I don't, yeah. It sounds <laughs> like, like it's penguin. penguin. It might be. Oh. Wow. Uh, all right, I have a food topic for you. Okay. What would be your death row meal request? Oh, now I have five topics. You got to choose an appetizer, a meal, a side, and a drink. Okay. You got to choose an appetizer, a meal, a side, a drink, and a dessert. You know what? I'm really nervous. This is like my go-to question when people ask me like, oh, ask me a question. <laughs> this is your go-to one and you haven't asked me I haven't in asked, 82 I podcast I episodes? Like I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> so what would you be your appetizer? You can get really specific if you want. You know what? I'm going to get healthy. I had some uh, salad recently. No? You're lying. No. That would be your death row. Why would you <laughs> want to be healthy on death row? I don't know. What other appetizer? Oh, uh, it's your last meal ever. Can I count wings as an yeah, appetizer? Okay, let's go buffalo wings. From? You I'm going chicken or the egg in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. I'm taking Santos Santos wings. So it's actually barbecue. Okay. That's where I'm going. All right, I like Now that. we're talking. What about the meal? The meal. Mm -hmm. I'm having... Mm. Or you want to go drink first? Let's go. Now, what do you want? What do you want what's from your, me? What's your drink? What do you want? What's your drink? What movie is that from? Oh, The Notebook. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. You said Shirley Temple? I, I didn't say anything. No, I thought I, I didn't heard, answer the question. I thought I heard you say Shirley Temple. I've just been talking about it. <laughs> that would be on my radar, though. I think if I had to have a drink, it's a Guinness. I'm taking a Guinness. Really? From Ireland. From yeah. Ireland. Yeah. I have to. I've never had it. And I heard All it right. tastes different I over like there. That. And if I, I'm going out with a little buzz. What about <laughs> what about your meal? Uh, Main course. Now, I wanted to say something that was like my mom's like version of what she's yeah? cooked. Okay. Like, a, like a home-cooked meal. You're not doing it. I don't think I'm going to take it. I would say it's steak for my dad, but I'm not going to do it. Oh. I'm going to take a tomahawk steak. Sorry, Steve. Tomahawk steak. Not from your dad. Not from my dad. From like That's one of those steakhouse. fancy restaurants. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay cooked the tomahawk steak for me. I'll take that Fair one. Fair enough. And hey, then thank you very much, bud. And then what's your side? My side? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, you could say fries. You could say You probably want to pair it with the steak, no? Yeah, but mashed potatoes? You could choose whatever you want. You know what? I'll take mashed potatoes and put bacon with it. I'm going to put bacon bits in the mashed potatoes. Oh, but mac and cheese. Could do that too. Give me mac and cheese. From? From, um, uh, <laughs> La Rosa. I knew you were going to say La Rosa. <laughs> so good. Uh, we've <gasps> been shouting out local. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, that's good, though. Yeah, Monmouth County. And then uh, what about your dessert? Dessert, dessert, dessert. Chocolate lava cake? I knew you were no, going to mention no. that. I'm going to mention. I'm going to I'm gonna bring it up, but I don't From think Applebee's. I'm going to go with it. Give me a Baskin Robbins, the one with the brownie and the ice cream on top. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of like fudge sundae, brownie fudge sundae thing going on. I don't hate it. The one from Baskin Robbins. I don't hate that at all. Baskin Robbins? Ben and Jerry's. It sounds like a Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. That's what it is. Sounds like ben My Jerry's. fault. Apologies to the people. It sounds like a good meal. If I had the money to have that stuff all the time, I would. It's not that expensive besides the Gordon Ramsay steak. It's not that expensive, but if I had this much money, then I would go for it. Oh. More often. You. How much money did these fictional criminals make? So these are criminals in TV shows and movies. I chose three of them. You're going to tell me how much money you think they made throughout their uh, their their reign. Okay, let's do it. Tony Soprano. Never seen The Sopranos. Me neither, and I should, but which, which, why this number might just be thrown out yeah, by you. You have no idea. Throw, well, there was a lot of seasons, so I'm assuming he's made a lot of money over those seasons. It's definitely in the millions, but not too high because this was filmed a while ago. And this was in New Jersey. The value of the dollar was lower back then. I feel like the show's not that old, though. 50 million? He's made relatively close. You're pretty close. Seventy six million dollars. Tony Soprano. He's killing it. I'm going to take my foot and stick it somewhere killed? where you don't like it. How many people has he killed? I don't know. A That's lot. a great question. Probably a lot. Tony Montana. Never oh. seen Scarface. Either. You've never seen Scarface? No, and it's my brother's uh, favorite movie. Say hello to my little friend. He's uh, Soprano has killed eight people, by the way. Eight? <laughs> Tony Montana. I feel like he was more like ruthless. Like he would just kill people in general. <laughs> or wait, we're talking about money. <laughs> we're talking about the money. But you got so infatuated by the the killing. I don't know. My on fifty million dollars again. No, Tony Montana nine hundred million dollars. He ran a drug empire. That makes sense. Incredible. 
Walter White. I know who Walter White is. Yes, you do. I know who he is. Yes, I know yep, what he's, he's known He is right here. So he started out like making thousands. Then he made millions. I would assume that he's up to like... Here he is right here. But then he died. Look him in the eye. Look him in the eye and tell him that. I'm going to say he really claimed that area of New Mexico. Well, and then it went... Kind of worldwide. Worldwide or <laughs> countrywide? No, it went country and then world. He was working with um, Natalie. So then I'm going to say billion. Billion? No, 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 no. 500 million. Not 500 million. 80 million. Oh, that's Because this is him personally. It might have been a billion dollar industry. Who knows? Well, you steered but me the I wrong know. way. I know I did. I know I did. 80 million dollars, Walter Wade. If you wanted to save money, <laughs> that's my transition. <laughs> okay, here it is. You could get these things. Watch this. You can get these five food items for free on your birthday. So if I go on my birthday to these places, I get something for free. What, what do I got? Buffalo Wild Wings. You get six buffalo wings for free. On your birthday? On your birthday. Brian, why didn't you tell me about this three weeks ago? I think for our <laughs> birthday next year. Oh, it sucks. It's so long. We, maybe we will bring somebody in and just do it for their birthday. I think we should do like a, the tour and get everything for free for them. To all these places. Oh, just bounce between yeah, Buffalo. And do a YouTube video. Write it down. Make sure you write down the idea. Uh, so Buffalo Wild Wings, you get a free six-piece Buffalo Wings. Denny's, you get a free Grand Slam breakfast. Full breakfast. Denny's, all-American. Low-key, hits a little different. Ben and Jerry's, you get a free scoop of ice cream. Oh, that's just the obvious, right? Crumble cookies, which are insane in calories, apparently, and they're big cookies. You get a free cookie. Okay. Have you ever had that? Uh, crumble, aren't they like 500 600 yeah, calories insane. per cookie or something. They're huge. Yeah. It's like cake. And then firehouse subs, you get a free medium sub. I mean, just what's the best deal on that? The best deal I'm going to say has to be, I think it might be Buffalo Wild Wings or Denny's breakfast. Or De no, Denny's it's breakfast. Full breakfast. It is a full breakfast. And you're talking about value. You're, you're high up there. It's a great video. YouTube video. Full. Length. Make sure you write it down. Don't forget. I know you have it there, but just don't forget it. I'm sure that there is a ton more. Like there's probably hundreds. If you ate all those things, how many calories are you consuming? A lot of calories. That's, that's what is it? So you got the wings first. Six piece wings, free Grand Slam breakfast, scoop of ice cream, cookie and medium sub. 3000 calories. That's more oh. than enough food for the beret. 3,500 calories. More medium than sub? enough food for the yeah, beret. No, we're taking that one. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is what I call the fun part of the podcast, and I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Guess these teams' last conference final appearance. So I'm going to name some teams. You tell me the last time they made the conference final. Okay. The Dallas Mavericks. 2024. 2024. It's right now. Right now. It's actively right now. They're going to make the championship. Yeah, I think they're, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be Mav Celtics. I think they might. Because the Celtics are up 3-0. I'm saying it on camera right now. I think they beat the Celtics. I love that. Yeah. I would love for that to happen. Just because I really don't want the Celtics to win. Yeah, I don't think anyone does. Okay, what about the Texas Rangers? 2023. You'd be correct. So last season. Yeah. Last season, they what made it to the layups? World Series. I don't know. Are they? I'm yeah. not sure. Um, yeah. No, it's softball <laughs> questions here. Which means Dallas Mavericks, zero seasons since their last one. Texas Rangers, zero seasons. Yeah. Fantastic. What about the Dallas Stars? Oh, 2024? They're in it this year. Yeah, 2020. They're in it this year. Very good. I was away on vacation. I wasn't <laughs> keeping track of who won and when it because that was like the shift of like conference. That's finals. okay. They're there this year. Yeah. So you got the Dallas Mavericks, the Dallas Stars, and the Texas Rangers. All Dallas based. I know what's coming next. The Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yep. When's the last time I they love made it? it. <laughs> When's the last time they made it? I don't know. Yeah. A really long time ago. It's been a while. Not even with Tony Romo, no. I'll give you a hint. It's older than us. Yeah, it's not with Tony Romo. It's not with uh whatever his name is. 1984. I don't know the exact season. It's 28 years. Whatever, 28, uh, it's pretty close. 1980, <laughs> like 1990. 1996. Yeah, 1996. We are 27. <laughs> okay, you're right. Exactly. Come on. <laughs> a great point. 1996. The Dallas Cowboys haven't made the conference championship in 28 seasons. Because they suck. And guess what? Everybody else in that town is having a jolly old time. So does that mean, are you saying the Dallas Cowboys are up next or no, they just suck? No, I just think they suck. They just I suck. think they stink. Jerry and listen, Worlds. if you're a Dallas fan... It's pretty good time, except for football. Yeah. Pretty good time, except I think they're going to win the championship. I really I really think so. It, you know, players have years. I think, no, Luka is like this, playing insane. Yeah, and this is like, even the games where he's not playing that well, he's hitting the big shots at the end of the and game. And Kyrie could help out. Yeah. So I, I think like like Kawhi Leonard's year, like this is the Dallas Mavericks this year. I love it. I think Kawhi, I'm fine it's with very that similar in my, in my head. Um, we'll talk about long time since something happened. Let's talk about GTA 5 and GTA 6. Yeah, you mentioned this before. It was unbelievable. Here we go. How many of these video games have been released after GTA 5 and before GTA 6? I can't even imagine the 
games you have on this list. I can't wait. It's crazy. So GTA 5 was released in 2013, which feels insane. Like, I can't believe... It's we 11 were in, years. We were in high school, not even seniors in high school. And I remember getting the game and being excited. I was like, oh, I can't wait for the next one to come out. It's not even we out were yet. sophomores in high school. Yeah, it's crazy. How many video games in this franchise has been released in that downtime? Call of Duty. I mean, there's been so many Call of Duties. This is including the Black Ops side and it's the Modern Warfare. Just Call of Duty. Call of but Duty just overall. After September 2013. At least 14. That's a <laughs> I feel like damn that's a pretty good, good guess. guess. Wait, what's your guess? 14. It's 13, but Black Ops 6 is coming out in November 2024. So I. Nailed that on the head. Yeah, that was pretty It's going to be perfect. 14. It's going to be 14. Look yeah. at me. We got 14 Call of Duties before we got GTA 6. I mean, that's that's absurd. Uh, this one isn't a video game, but what about Fast and Furious movies? Man. Well, there's... So there's I, don't even, I don't even know how many Fast and Furious there's movies there are. Now. There's, there's 10. There's 10, so I'm going to say 8. After 2013. I, Let's go 6. It's 4. Okay. But there's going to be another one, Fast X Part 2 in 2026. Hopefully, <laughs> that's after GTA 6. Yes, and I also think that's going to be the final one. I don't think they make any more after this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, what about Assassin's Creed video games? I No, they definitely made a lot. They have a low-key following. They do, and it's a great game. Just gets a little boring, in my opinion. Um, let's go with six. Seven Assassin's Creed. Seven, Creed's. yeah. From 2013 to now. We need a bad. Are you going to buy it? Yes. I feel like it's going to take up like the entire memory on whatever care device you have i i'm gonna buy it so my bold take was not even a bold take i think you're gonna be seeing a lot less men outside <laughs> when, <laughs> yeah. when it gets released like the statistics of people being outside are gonna drop dramatically for men is it gonna be that good though i it's don't like a gta I, have you you've played full yeah i love gta 5 but i just feel like you play like the full thing the storyline's great and it's a crazy game and then you mess around for a little bit afterwards. And then if you don't play online, you just kind of drop it. I think it, I think just the hype itself, even if the game sucks, it's people just, are going to be inside for at least a day. It's like a movie. Yeah, it really is like a movie. It's like you're going to the movies, but you got to actually play the movie. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Pretty spot I'm on. sure that's going to be pretty, pretty good stuff in I'm here. Sure it's going to be sick. Okay. I have a fun game for you. This and I know, time. I know you might be bad at it okay. or you might be great. Okay. I'm going to send you a picture. Uh, and you're just going to try to guess the logo. Okay. The twist is their logos of soccer teams. Okay. I'm going to be bad at it. <laughs> you're going to have to try and guess the logo. Guess the soccer team based on the logo. Oh, I know this one. Do you know this one? Yeah, Juventus. 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 Nice. Very CR7 good. CR7 went there. Yeah. CR7. I'm going to sweep it. Oh, you think you're going to sweep it? No. I think you have a good chance Actually, on the first few here. It the, how many are there? I have six total. All right, let's go. Do you know this one? Um... So look familiar? What's running through your head? It's not Bayern Munich. I don't know. What is it? Is it Bayern Munich? I don't know. I gave it away. I'm a dead giveaway. I don't know what to do. It is Bayern Munich. It's Bayern Munich. That was my first guess. I don't know what to do with my face when you say the answer, and I don't know what... Just close your eyes and don't look at me. I'm just going to not even focus anymore. Bayern Munich. That's two for two. That's two for two. Pretty good. This one's a little tougher. But for some reason, I'm feeling pretty confident in you. Okay. What about this one? I mean, it, it looks familiar. I don't even know if I have a guess. I feel like it's like a La Liga team. You want me to hint to you? From Spain. But I don't know anything. Spanish league. I don't know. It's not Real Madrid. That's not Real Madrid. No. I don't know. Soccer. <laughs> I know you don't. Oh, you mean football. I'm going to do this to you next time. <laughs> You're not going to get one. <laughs> I played FIFA. I feel like I know my logos a little bit. Uh, Man. No. <laughs> you were right in the Spain realm. I was? Yeah, yeah. It's Re uh, Barcelona? Not Barcelona. Real Madrid. Not Real Madrid. Those are the only two teams <laughs> I, I don't know. know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. It's Valencia. I wouldn't have got that. Valencia. Wouldn't have got that. It goes for goal. That's the team name, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. I have confidence in this one. I feel good about this one. Uh, you'll never walk alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's. I mean, this seems like a Premier League team. Right. I don't know anything. <laughs> Premier League is England. I, I don't. It doesn't matter. United that, Kingdom. Even if you told me where the what yeah, city they're I'm part just of, I'm going to be does. guessing random things. Uh, I feel like you could get this one. I don't think so. Come on, man. No, it's Liverpool. No. <laughs> oh, it's Liverpool. Yes, that was my first guess. Yeah, that's why you did the accent. That's why I did the accent? Well, it is Liverpool. 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 <laughs> where Patty the Batty's from. Who knows what we're yes, saying over here. Yes. yes. Well, I guess the second guess. I'll give it to you. How about that one? That honestly looks like a gaming logo. It does look like a gaming logo. Is it not? Like some sort of streamer. No. Can you at least tell me the league that it's in? 
I have no idea. Look it up I then. I don't know where any of these things are. No, I'm not telling you anything. Is it a Germany team? Do you want me to look up the league? Yeah, look up the league. I can look up the league. They're in the Premier League. Okay. <laughs> Premier League teams. I know it's not Tottenham because I know what the Tottenham logo looks like. I don't even think you know this team. It's not Aston Villa because theirs is yellow and light blue. Kanye said he was going to fix them once. That doesn't help me at all. He said, he tweeted, said, I'm going to fix Wolves. And he meant his song, but then the Timberwolves. Warsaw. This team, no. <laughs> I don't know. All these teams named Wolves perform better after he You got to just Wolves. tell me this one. Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's the Wolverhampton. Yeah, no. Here's the last one. This one's, uh, I can't look at you. Man United. Man City. It's not Man City. Man United. Not Man United. Chelsea. Not Chelsea. Barcelona. Not Barcelona. <laughs> it's one of the big ones. It's not Manchester City. Now that's deceiving. Talk about deceptive. No, the M. That's um, insane. I can't believe this. Real Madrid. It is Real Madrid. Madrid Football Club. Yeah, FC is Football wow. Club. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, Very I'm gonna interesting. Get clown. <laughs> yeah, I hope you do. Fun. All right, I have a game for you. All right. That's not going to make you look like an idiot because I'm a good friend. No, nope, I'm a horrible one. Do you agree with this simplified map of the USA? What are we talking about? What we got? It's kind of funny. Okay. So let's break it down. <laughs> First off, they're saying the middle of the country is just empty. <laughs> it's a pretty good map, right? I love Canada. Now, if you, <laughs> if you don't have a sense of humor, leave the video because this is all just funny stuff and we're not trying to be mean. This was made by somebody else. Canada is maple syrup. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense. The only other <laughs> thing is moose and maple syrup. My. My. Yeah. <laughs> Plural moose. moose. And hockey. And and friendliness and kindness. Middle of the country, empty. It is empty. There's nothing there. There's nothing going Corn, on. Corn, potatoes. Corn, potatoes. I mean, most of America's food supply, sure. Yeah. Outside of that. Food supply. Who cares? Us? It's, they should put New Jersey in there. You know what annoys me more than anything? Biggest pet peeve. If I meet you and I ask you where you're from and you tell me you're from the major city next to you and not actually where you're yeah, from, no. pisses me off. Yeah. If that's true, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from New York and I'm from, uh, there's nothing in New, New Jersey. Newark? Newark. <laughs> Newark. <laughs> We're not going Newark. Uh, yeah. So New York, I mean, it's pretty spot on. Like if you're from Chicago, say that you're an hour north of Chicago. Relax. Don't, don't tell Relax. me you're from Chicago. Calm down. <laughs> And then the, the South is, you want to say it or do you want me to say it? I could say it. America. America shotgun fat people. And then right below it, there's a crazy Florida oh, crazy man. Crazy Florida man. Just one. That's there's, where your parents live. That is where my parents live. Maybe your uh, dad's It might guy. be my dad. We got Yeehaw Cowboy in Texas. Which is fair. Which it's is just, half of Texas. The other half is empty. Apparently. The cowboy boots. Yeah, there's no top of All Texas. The cities are. We got burrito. <laughs> makes sense. Mexico. I mean, it makes sense. Tell me something that makes more sense. What else would you put it as? Taco? Taco? Taco could work. <laughs> taco could Bur work. Burrito and taco. And then you got Southern California is Los Angeles and Area 51, which I guess makes sense. Honestly thought Area 51 was a little further east, but I think it whatever. is. But and then the top left is Rain and Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> which I guess also makes sense. This is fantastic. It's a pretty good map. This made me I mean, there's some stuff in the empty land, like yeah, some we, mountains. They should have just put a dot for like Chicago. Yeah. I mean, they're not even including them here. Or like, yeah, that's kind of bad. Oh, geez. Also, Arizona's not empty. I like that. That is funny. That Very funny. Mad. Well, I got one more topic. That's what I got for you. What do you got? I got a game for you. It's the moment we've all oh, this is the States. been waiting for. I always forget about the States. Stepping into this country. <laughs> or, I don't know. I don't know. It's, do you want me to text them to you? I have them. I have the. Have no, no. I'm going to text I them. I have to it you. pulled up. If you had to get rid of five more U.S. states, which ones are you getting rid of? We have 10 states left. There are only 10 left. We're going to be in the top five after this video. Yeah. So these are all top 10 states. These are all top. These are the best of the best. The cream of the crop. This the is banana be to tough. the pudding. The, the peanut to the butter. The uh, milky to the way, milky to the way, the makeshift to the moon, Brian to the Zach to the Zach. Sure. Yeah. Texas, Hawaii, Arizona, California, Colorado, Florida, South Carolina, New Jersey, New York, Massachusetts. I have a feeling you're going to hurt. You're going to hurt me. And listen, am I going to hurt you? I'm not only going to be hurt, but the people watching this video are going to be hurt. Why am I going to hurt? I you? just feel like you're, you're a little crazy. You're a little wacky. First one to go. I think I'm going to get rid of Colorado. Oh, snowboarding. Snow mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect that to go? Yeah, I thought I thought Colorado had to be. It's one of the best places to live. Every yeah, single yeah. year, they're there. But you know what? Get them out of here. Yeah, 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 I'm done with them. I'm done with them. Okay. Even though I've never been there besides the airport. 
Brian, you're in the top nine. I'm going to get rid of Arizona. Uh, gone. Yeah, that makes sense. Golf. Though. Deserts. I know. It's a lot of good golf. It's a lot of deserts. I think they have casinos there. I'm sure they do somewhere. <laughs> I think they do. The only McDonald's with a teal M. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why Fun do you fact? know that? Because <laughs> I know a lot of things. Uh, yeah, so uh, Arizona, Colorado, gone. Okay, I think those were relatively easy. They were light. You could do it. Do it. You could do Massachusetts. it. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Get it's it gone. out of here. Boston. Pocket your car in the Boston yacht somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> get rid can, of the khakis. I have to get rid of the khakis. Throw them in the pack. Throw in the pack. Yeah, it's gone. Did you say khakis or car keys? Khakis. Khakis. <laughs> khakis, khakis, same thing. Why don't you take your khakis and put, put them, them in some khakis? khakis. <laughs> All right. Cool. Three states gone. Now, I don't want to get rid of New Jersey. I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. I'm not doing it. You're not. You don't have to do it. But the if, fact that, put, if you were objectively looking at this, would New Jersey be a top seven state? I don't know because I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But so you, I think it is. Yeah, you, I think that New Jersey is a top five state. There's an argument for it. There's a very good right. argument. I think that I have to get rid of Texas. Oh, it's a big one. It is. Oh, it's one of the biggest. I know. And every city I've been to in Texas is great. Yeah, but the barbecue is great. Are you just going to get rid of it? It's a top seven state. Yeah, I, I don't care if it's top seven. It's top seven. Compared to the other six, it's top they're seven. unhappy. They're not happy. Would you have kept it? No. I didn't think you would. <laughs> I wouldn't have. Everything's bigger down there. So we there. have Hawaii, California. I think I have to get rid of South Carolina. Yeah. It just makes I sense. I love it, but... It, and that's apparently where everyone's moving these everyone's days. Everyone's moving to South Carolina. But we got to get rid Carolina. of South Carolina. There's a lot of good cities down there. There's good nightlife. So There's the top five? Top New five. Jersey, New York, Florida, California, Hawaii. Yeah. Those are the five. That's it. I'm surprised Hawaii's still there. Why? I'm a little, sh- I'm a little shocked. Because volcanoes. It's dangerous. You should go. Yeah, I should and go. And you'll think differently. I should go to Hawaii. Flying right, so to islands tuned. really scares me. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. For the final five states getting eliminated, and then it's going to be number one. You're going to see who it is. Yeah. I actually don't know what direction you're going to go in. I don't know either. <laughs> we'll I'm figure it out lost. as we go. I'll figure it out next week when we record. Okay. Last topic here. Last topic. Uh, we played a game last time at the end of the podcast. I think people liked it. It's called 20 Words or Less. We did it with eight categories of words we had eight words listed now we're going to try to guess 10 words we could do 10 all right so this game is called 20 words or less yeah dumbo elephant yes look at that nice and easy we have 10 words we have to guess here this time so we're making it so we're making it that much harder last time we had to guess eight we're guessing 10 i'm going to count them here on my phone second word what do you think here Mm. what do you think read read my mind all right engagement oh ring no we didn't get oh yeah okay Party. Wedding. Yes. 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 We needed it. We needed that one. This one feels this one feels a little (laughs) (laughs) This one feels a little tough here. Ready? Yeah. Organ. Oh. Windpipe. No. What? I don't know, Brian. Listen, you're gonna have to not an organ. You have to deal with the windpipe? Oh. oh, oh. Oh, (laughs) I thought you meant the instrument. Food. I think I'm on the right organ now. Are you? (laughs) Stomach. No. No, 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 no. Oh, what? We need to get this one here. Okay. <laughs> uh, I knew it was going to be tough. Consume. You're not helping me out. You're not helping me out. Yeah, this, this is not where we're getting. This is going to be it. Organ? Oh. Think about organs in your yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go liver? Yes. Yeah, okay. There was so, there was such a better way to get where? to that. Uh, you, the liver consumes your alcohol when it goes in. So if you said, oh, alcohol, said alcohol and you said organ, I would have got it. All right. Well, we're, we're on pace. You put food. We're on pace. Yeah, because liver is a food. Yeah, but I'm, who's eating it? No one. That's why I was going to say gross next. <laughs> All right, we're on pace. Word number four, Aaron. Oh, A-A-R-O-N. Wong. <laughs> <laughs> what? A flallow? No. <laughs> what do you want from me? Next word, Yankee. Boone. Are you actually kidding me? Aaron. Oh. Uh, Are you actually <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> That's not a bad answer. That's technically yeah, still correct. If you say it to the world, <laughs> no one's going to say Aaron Boone. Everyone's uh, going to say Aaron Blank. Uh, uh, court. Judge. Now we're off pace. No, but we get, this is where we reel it back in. All right. Now we're on pace if we get a one-worder here, right? Yeah, we need, we need a one-worder. We need it. We I need feel it. good about a one-worder the okay, next one. Okay. Sneeze. Hmm. I don't feel good about a one-worder here. Nostril. No. Ah. Paper. Sneeze and paper. Oh, tissue. Yes, there we go. Woo! I feel good about a one word here. Now we're at back on pace. Okay, let's get back on pace. Let's do it. All right. We're number six. Okay. Cowardly. Dog. No. No. (laughs) Oh. 
I you wouldn't it. think I, I would it. give you I a better it. clue for <laughs> dog? You would have said woof. You would have said bark. Uh, Word. Just say it. Courage. <laughs> yes. Uh, All right. These are going to be tough. It's okay. We'll figure uh, it out. Fungi. Bacteria. No. Ah. Trippy. Oh, mushroom. Yes. Damn it. I think we can get this. Feel good. Battle. Royale. No, 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 no. Oh. Fight. War? Yes. Oh. <laughs> There you go. Oh my God. I don't, we're not going to get this in 20. I don't think Do you, you don't think I Come hope on, so. have I some hope faith, so. have some so. faith, have some trust. Finals exam. No, ah! I'm going to try to get you there. Okay. Buddy study. Yes. Okay. Hey, we're alive. <sighs> you might, you might not like it. You might not like the position we are in, but we're alive. I don't feel good about this last <laughs> one here. I don't feel good about it at all. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. I'm going to give you I'm a chance. I'm just asking you to give me a I'm chance. I'm going to throw you a knuckleball. Use it. That's how I feel about Use this. Use it. Camp. <laughs> Camp. Like you're camping. My mind's going to a lot of different things, and it's hard to pick one. Don't overthink it, Zach. I have my answer. Okay. I don't think you're going to like it. I'm probably but I have not. my answer. Let me hear it. I'm going to go with tent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Back in alive. Here we go. That's, That's Podcast 82. <laughs> podcast 82. Thanks for watching. That's Buy the merch. Buy the merch. Like, comment, subscribe. Do the whole nine. I always say that. Do everything. Why don't you do everything? Yeah, do um, everything. Go check links in the description or link in our bio or go to our website, themakeshiftproject.com. We got a lot coming up. A lot coming we got, up. A lot out now. We got a special guest coming on next week. Um, it's going to be a part of the podcast. We're excited for it. I can't wait. See you later.